Welcome sa sip9.com In this video ay uh, pag-aaralan natin yung bagong function notation no? So kung, kung mapapansin nyo sa mga previous videos natin Ang uh, ginagamit natin na uh, notation sa function is y equals uh, something no? uh, Any expression for example y equals uh, x squared x squared minus 2x minus 3 for example So ang ginagamit natin is y Ngayon, mag-introduce mag tayo ng bagong notation. But before that, ay tignan muna natin itong nandito, yung drawing dito. Uh, I call this uh, function machine. At yung pangalan ng function ko ay f. No? So, ang ginagawa nito is, uh, pag may pinasok ka na number dito sa input, mag-multiply niya sa 5 and then mag-add siya ng 3. No? Tapos, uh, whatever the result sa talawang uh, uh, process na yun, ay processes ay... Uh, lalabas siya dito sa sa output no so for example pag nag input ako ng 3 ano magiging output ko so 3 multiplied by 5 15 then ang 15 uh, mag-add tayo ng 3 18 so my output my output is actually uh, 18 no so yung input natin yun yung ating x di ba so x equals 3 at ang y natin, yan yung 18. Uh, another uh, notation for x and y is that uh, kung meron tayong uh, function machine f, uh, yung f, and then parenthesis, no? tapos ilalagay natin yung input natin dito. What is our input here? 3. At ang output natin ay so, this is one uh, notation na ginagamit sa function. Now, f, itong notation na ito, hindi siya, hindi siya multiplication. No? Kung makikita nyo, para sa multiplication kasi meron siyang parenthesis. But this is not actually uh, multiplication. Ano? Ang ibig sabihin ng 3 dito is ito, ito yung input natin. Yung um, f is yung function natin, yung proseso na nangyayari. If you apply f, the output is equal to 18. So, hindi siya multiplication. Ang basa natin dyan ay f of Ang basa natin dyan ay f of 3 f of 3 Okay, so pwede tayong, parang ang input natin ay uh, negative 1 for example So f of negative 1 Pwede natin uh, isulat yung proseso dito, no? So, multiply by 5. So, negative 1 times 5 plus 3, no? And then, we simplify, no? So, negative 5 plus 3, which is equal to negative 2. So, ibig sabihin natin dyan ang f, f of negative 1 is equal to 2. Okay. And we have uh, one more example. We have uh, f of 0, for example. So, what is f of 0? That's uh, 0 times 5 uh, plus 3, no? So, f of 0 is equal to 3. So, may napapansin kayo, yung y natin is actually yung f of x natin, no? Uh, yung whatever the value of x here. So, if we use a variable, mangyayari dyan is magiging f of x equals multiply by 5 yung x, magiging 5x plus 3. Ito na yung pinaka-function natin. So, this is the algebraic representation ng ating function dito. Okay, so from here, uh, pwede natin interpret, interpret ang f of negative 1 is the value of the function f at x equals negative 1. Kasi ito yung x natin, ito yung input natin. No? So, the value of uh, f at x equals negative 1 equals negative 2. Ibig sabihin, y equals negative 2 doon sa uh, uh, input na x equals negative 1. No? So, tignan natin itong function na ito. Uh, how is it related to this notation? No? Okay, this is from the previous function. This is from the previous video, so burayin natin ito. Dito kasali, no? 
So, tignan natin yung f of x. Ano yung function natin sa kabila? f of x equals ano nga ba yun? 5x plus 3, no? 5x plus 3. So, ito siya. At tignan natin yung uh, ano yung ibig sabihin natin ng uh, f of f of ne F of 3. What is F of 3? So, F of 3 meaning, ano yung value ng, ito yung x natin, di ba? Pag F of 3, ibig sabihin ang input natin ay 3. Ano ang value ng function at F at 3? No? Yung F of 3 natin is ito. Ito yung ating 18 kanina. So, pag, kung nga gamamit tayo ng GeoGebra, ito yung software na ginagamit natin, ano ba yung 3? Pag ang input mo ay 3, yun yung x natin, di ba? Tapos ang output mo ay f of 3. f of 3, output. Then what happens? Okay, so yun yung, ito na yung point. Yung, yung 3f of 3, yan yung point na yun. Okay. So ang input mo dyan is x equals 3, at ang output mo ay 18. What about the second... Uh, uh, input ang dito x equals negative 1 so negative 1 negative 1 and then f of negative 1 I get your notation yung negative 1 yung input natin that's the value of x at yung y natin yung f of negative 1 so pag inano natin yan pag, in, pag in enter natin ito siya no so ang value ng, ng uh, function at x equals negative 1 is actually negative 2 which is reflected here no Pag negative 1 yung x mo, yung f of negative 1 is negative 2. So, f of negative 1 is actually negative 2, which is the, the y value. So, again, sabihin ko kanina, yung f of x natin is actually y. So, f of negative 1 is the value of y at x equals negative 1. And lastly, we have f of 0. So, f 0, 0, f of 0, I think obviously this is the point. 0, f of 0. Yan yung ating uh, point. So, ito yung input mo. Yung x mo is the input. At yung y mo is the output, which is f of x. No? So, I hope maliwanag sa inyo yung notation na to. Kasi, uh, gagamitin natin to almost uh, sa, sa lahat ng mga discussions later on. And of course, uh, pag nag na kayo ay syempre dapat uh, familiar din kayo sa sa uh, notation na yan. No? Before tayo mag-end, uh, let's have another function. No? F, yung function natin, ngayon gagawa tayo ng isang function na g. g of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3 for example. Find, this is the last example, g of 2. So again, g of 2. Anong ginawa natin dito? Sinasubstitute lang natin no, sa value ng x. So magiging negative 2 squared. Oh sorry, sorry. Not negative 2 but 2. 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 3. So that's g of 2 equals 4 minus 4 plus 3. So g of 2 equals... 4 minus 4 is 0, 3. Okay, so, pag ganito notation, uh, whatever the input here, you just have to substitute doon sa lahat ng uh, excess dito, whatever the variable here. No? So, pag uh, g of a, a squared minus 2a plus 3, so whatever the value of a, just substitute. Okay, so I think... Um, Malinaw yung ating discussion no? uh, sa ating uh, uh, function notation. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.